Hey guys, Aleš from European Coffee Trip and in this video I will show you brand new coffee dripper developed by Stefanos Domatiotis and it's called Gem Series Dripper. Okay, I know what you are thinking. Another coffee brewer? Do we really need it? Well, if the World Brewers Cup champion 2014 and one of the most known coffee person tells you that he developed a better coffee brewer, it was very difficult to say no to at least trying it out. Talking with Stefanos, he told us the main reason for him to develop a new tool was seeing people all around the world struggling to brew coffee consistently. There are many approaches how to brew pour over coffee, but most of them include circular pouring. Even though it looks cool, it's difficult and challenging to measure it and replicate. It often results in an inconsistent brew that can taste great once, but not as well at the time. Stefano thought how to solve this problem by a better designed brewer. Let's take a look on his solution. There are three main design features that make Gem Series Dripper different. A lid, ribs and its shape. Let's talk about the lid first and what is even more important than the lid that is not very common when it comes to the coffee brewing it's its hole in the middle of the lid that serves as a protection layer. It's designed to promote stable pouring towards the center, so water comes straight in contact with coffee grounds without hitting the walls of the brewer. Also, having the lid on should improve a blooming phase by trapping the steam in the brewer. Let's talk about ribs now. There are two sets of ribs that influence brewing. The first set of 12 ribs in the middle is designed to guide coffee to drop at a steady pace. At the bottom, 12 vertical ribs helps coffee to quickly flow into the server, avoiding over extraction. Last thing is the shape. And as you can see, it's in a diamond shape. Perhaps the diamond dripper would be a better suited name, but it doesn't add any additional feature to brewing. But the visual part of brewer is definitely very important to anybody thinking to buy this brewer for home or to use it in a bar or the cafe. The last thing before we brew a cup of coffee is to show you what people ask very often. It's how it compares to popular V60. So this is the short side-by-side -side comparison between Gem Series Dripper and V60. Now it's time to brew some coffee and show you the Stefano's brewing recipe. So you'll use 15 grams of coffee and 250 grams of water in the temperature of 93 degrees of Celsius. As for the paper filters, Stefano's recommend using the Brewista ones, but he also mentioned that he is trying to develop his own paper filters. What is even more important is to rinse the paper filter carefully. Stefanos recommends up to 300 ml of water going through the paper filter before you start pouring. You start by pouring 40 to 50 ml of water in 8 to 10 seconds. Then rest until 30 seconds. Continue with 120 ml of water until 45 seconds. And then you pour again to the center to reach 160 until about 55 seconds. Then you rest until 1 minute 15 and you pour again reaching 210 ml of water. And then you finish pouring at around 135 seconds with a maximum of 250 ml of water. The total brewing time shouldn't be more than 2 minutes 5 seconds to 2 minutes 20 seconds. So what do we think about Gem Series Dripper? What are the good things? What are the things that we like and what are the things that we don't like as much? First thing <laughs> I have to say that we have a really hard time remembering and pronouncing the name of the brewer. So there, there's something that can be improved, maybe a diamond dripper that will be much easier to remember. But apart of that, uh, 
we really like that the hole in the lid doesn't allow you to do some of the common mistakes that beginners but also more advanced coffee brewer do. So even for us, like it's much easier to replicate the recipe over and over and compare one coffee to other or one recipe to other. So that was really beneficial. Also, you don't need to do any stirring or shaking during the process. What we also like is actually aroma and the aromatics that is captured under the lid and uh, smelling it during the brewing was very, very enjoyable. Another thing that I really enjoy was the material that is used to make this dripper. It's a Taiwanese porcelain and what I especially like is the soft finish of the dripper that actually makes it really enjoyable to have it in your hands. So there are a few things that we didn't like that much and even though the functionality of the lid is great, what we don't like is that there is a high chance that it will fall down and break down and that's obviously not a very nice thing if the role of the lid is so crucial for the brewing itself. Another thing that not everybody will love is its price. It's selling for about 50 euros, what puts it definitely to the premium category of coffee drippers. Just for illustration, it's two times or three times more expensive than the other drippers in the category. So it might not be the best solution for somebody who plans on saving money when buying the coffee dripper. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think about the brewer. And also if you have any message to Stefanos, we will share it with him. And also let us know if you have any idea for coffee equipment, coffee tool, coffee brewer, something we should test for you and share it in the next video. So thank you again and bye bye.